Hi, Kurt. Hello, how are you? I'm good. Tell me sure. about yourself and ask me whatever you like. Well, I teach astronomy and earth science at Ivy Tech Community College in Bloomington, Indiana. Oh, that's so, where the statue was erected. That, that is exactly where the statue was. Were yes. you there on the day, Kurt? I was there on the day. I've taken oh, selfies nice. with it and everything. How wonderful. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Was it a nice day? Was it a lovely it was, day? It was great. It was great. And I actually assign to my students to go to the statue and take a selfie if they want extra credit. Uh, <laughs> you are my kind of man. That's uh, great. That's well, great. my ulterior motive in that, I have two ulterior motives. One, it gets them interested in Star Trek, but also the statue is located right next to our Wonder Lab. So if they know where the statue is, they know where Wonder Lab is. Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. How so, long have you been teaching, may I ask? I've, I've been teaching there for about 15 years. Have uh, you? But I've been working there for about 30 years. And what, so, what brought you, what, what, inspired this interest in science? Uh, both Star Trek and Carl Sagan's Cosmos. So well, those chosen. Are, well chosen. Pretty much anyone my age who's an astronomer is an astronomer because of Carl Sagan. <laughs> he, is, he is the very, very best, is he not? He was the yeah. most prescient. He was the most far-seeing and a philosopher to boot, in my in my opinion. That That's what got me. The, the history of science is what I'm most interested in. Yeah. Uh, how ideas develop over time. So tell me, Kurt, are you teaching virtually now? Yes, we're all online. And I'm going to share this video with my students because I want to spice up their life a little bit so they don't just see me all the time. Good. Is there anything that we could talk about that your students might find particularly interesting regarding astronomy or science and or anything you want? Sure. Well, I know uh, Captain Janeway was a scientist in addition to being a leader. And uh, I, so I thought uh, some words from you about the importance of studying science and being interested in science would be great. Well, I think that uh, uh, you're absolutely right. Janeway was a, a passionate scientist. And I like to say uh, slightly irreverently that she was not terribly disappointed when they got lost in the Delta Quad. <laughs> <laughs> yes. um, there was another uh, reason to explore an unknown part of the galaxy, which thrilled her to her very boots. Um, science is thrilling because it is unknown, largely unknown. It is also thrilling because it is largely math-based, which is indisputable. So yes. you have evidence and you counter it with the mis mysterious and you have everything that I love. Uh, and that I think that uh, should inspire uh, future astronomers. Um, it, it sounds like it's a, a terrible and unsolvable dichotomy, but in fact, it's, um, I think it's a wonderful um, marriage of, of, of two realities. Sure. Yeah, I know sometimes people get intimidated with the math behind the ideas. So most of my classes are very conceptual, and I try to introduce them Good. to the wonder of science before we get into the nitty gritty. But you know, I've understood or I've learned, and I am not a mathematician. Uh, I'm sure that you are, but I'm not. I've learned that if you can be get into the math, if you can embrace it and relax with it, it's going to open up entire new worlds to you. It's a, sure. I think probably an extraordinary way to go. Uh, and you strike me not only as a lovely man, but I'll bet you're a terrific teacher. So I wanna wish you the very best, you and all of your students. Thanks so much, Kurt. Thank you. Thank you.